as fighting raged around Bakhmut amid Russia's relentless offensive that devastated the eastern Ukrainian city earlier this year. A Russian soldier began planning how to escape shortly after being deployed there. Anton said he was given a two-week leave in August that would prove his ticket to escape the from the first days I spent there. I started researching this subject intensively. I surfed the internet. Where? Anton recently told Current Time. The Russian language network led by RFERL in collaboration with VOA. From an undisclosed location abroad. Anton is just one of a growing number of Russian soldiers who have reportedly abandoned their military units in Ukraine. Although exact figures are not available. Independent news outlet MediaZone reported that 2,076 criminal cases were opened against Russian soldiers accused of leaving their units without permission in the first half of 2023. This figure is said to be twice the 2022 total and three times the pre-war 2021 figure. Analysts say real numbers are likely higher. Given the Kremlin's systematic attempts to conceal information about military, despite the risks of prosecution, it's a gamble that more Russian soldiers are willing to take. It was stated that 18% of all requests they received from those who wanted to escape were recorded in October alone. There is no rotation. It is very difficult to go on leave. Deserters who are put on leave or hospitalized say this is their only option to avoid going to war. Again, said activist Daria Berg of Idite Lesum, said the present tense. The voices of Russian soldiers' wives have also become louder recent weeks, challenging the Kremlin's argument that troops in the war must be mobilized indefinitely to secure what Moscow describes as victory Ukraine. Britain's Ministry of Defense said Russian officials, in no mood for compromise, were likely trying to suppress public dissent from wives of deployed soldiers, including by bribing them and discrediting them online. This follows small protests in Moscow in November. Intelligence update December 2. The report noted that on November 27, Prominent online group for military spouses published a manifesto against indefinite mobilization. But it was quickly labeled with fake warning label, probably at the instigation of pro-Kremlin actors. The spouses' protests come amid a reported increase in Russian military casualties as Russian forces attempt to capture the small eastern Donbass city of Avdiivka amid strong Ukrainian resistance. Watch a Russian soldier says he's ready to testify about Russia's war crimes in Ukraine. Signalman Nikita Chibrin was sent to Ukraine at the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion on February 24. Due to this Russian attack, British Ministry Defense said on 27 November that the last six weeks have probably seen some of the highest casualty rates war so far. Neither Moscow nor Kiev provides timely data on military casualties, and each is seeking to increase.